Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video, folks. In this video, I'm going to be updating you on what has been happening, how things have been going with regards to stocks and, of course, the world of crypto. But before we get into it, quick note right here. If you see anything like this, this is a comment about a group of people that have been trading with this amazing trader on WhatsApp. Of course, they've also been using Telegram and other things. Just bear in mind that this is most likely a scam. And if you put your money with them, you will most likely lose it and never see it again. Also, before I get into the video itself, I would just like to point out the fact that I am not a financial advisor and I'm not giving out any financial advice. This is a video for entertainment purposes around what I'm doing with my money money what i am investing in it why i'm investing in it and stuff like that so definitely not any financial advice here this is just a entertainment purposes video now let's go into the current situation with the crypto market so let's refresh this currently we are 1.19 percent up and as you can see bitcoin is currently in an uptrend this has been a long time since we've been waiting for it same thing here with ethereum Binance, of course, also up XRP, doing all right. Of course, I have bought in some XRP. I'm going to pick up some more because I do think there's a lot of potential with XRP. Cardano's doing quite well as well. So 27% up on the week. Solano is, Solana actually is up as well. We can see that Dogecoin's doing quite good. And of course, Shiba Inu is doing good as well. I do have some Polygon. Unfortunately, it is kind of slow with regards to how it's moving. But unfortunately, when this gets up to a decent price, I will get rid of my Polygon. And uh, further down here, we have Decentraland Mana. So this is doing good as well. And ApeCoin, so I'm keeping my eyes on this. ApeCoin seems to be going up. So I think we have sort of found, um, let's say, a low point. Or I don't think it's going to go any lower than this. Basically, this is what's happened with ApeCoin. So as you can see, yeah, this is probably the lowest it'll go. Uh, of course, things can change in due time hopefully it'll go back up but i am still keeping my eyes on it now i did buy apecoin at the beginning so i think i bought it somewhere around here and then it went up and i think around here i sold it so i did make a profit now with apecoin i wasn't really committed to staying too long with it because again it is a brand new token and the way they launched it um there's a couple of questions that have been going around my mind first things first um they are pretty much so when they launched they launched on all market or a lot of the markets so of course that doesn't really help uh, in the long run in the sense of each time it launches on the market on a new market you know it has a chance of driving up the price the other thing is the owners of the nfts from the ape yacht club that had nfts with them of course also got a free amount of this token now of course this token is not developed by the same people but it is in collaboration with them so again there's a lot of people that have gotten this token for free which again brings us to the problem of when are they going to sell so i think we saw an initial sell-off right here and we will potentially see another sell-off later on so that has got me slightly on edge with regards to investing in it i am still interested in it i think it does have potential to do good just because of the hype it doesn't really have any utility so you know i'm going to be keeping my eye on it at the moment i would not invest on it unless i see the potential for a profit and then of course this would be a swing trade for me because i would invest at the possibility that this will go up and then i sell it once i think we are at the highest point and then just wait for it to do its own thing to run its own course but let's talk about the stuff that i said i bought in let's see how they are doing so first things first this is well whenever it decides to load up this is my eToro um portfolio i'm not going to show numbers and stuff like that but as you can see right here we are doing quite good now i do think if we go back to this that we might potentially see 
a very nice run for crypto within the next week possibly it is looking very promising things of course can change we don't have a crystal ball to see the future otherwise many of us would be quite rich but i do think that within the next say week possibly two we might see a bit of a run-up now going back to shiba right and let's do the one day chart right here and so right here i was saying that we will see a dip a very bad dip we didn't see that dip actually so that's actually not that bad it's bad in the sense that i didn't pick up a, a really nice discount but it's not that bad because in the sense of it didn't go too low so this kind of tells me that this is a really good support level so if we go past this we're probably going to go down really badly however as you can see right here we are in an uptrend so that is actually quite good it's been a while since we've seen several candles like this that go in an uptrend but if you look right here this is what happened you know it went back down so that is still a possibility so that is a possibility that this may happen hopefully it doesn't hopefully we get a bit of a good run with a nice little fly to the top but there's one thing i wanted to point out right here so this is why i brought the day chart up let's zoom in a little bit right here check this out right check this pattern and then we trade sideways same thing seems to be happening here just on a bigger scale so we had this initial run up then a bit of a sell off we found a level of support right here and then we traded sideways for a bit and then we had this other big run up and now we've come down i think this is the lowest that will go so it kind of makes sense if you look at it it's basically the first third so if we were to split this into thirds basically this is right here this is our level of support same thing here with the other run-up so kind of just roughly averaging it out but as you can see we traded sideways then we had another massive run so if we're gonna follow this pattern right here there's a possibility that we may trade sideways a wee bit but actually we're not really trading sideways we are in an uptrend so there's a possibility for another nice run up now it depends of course on what is happening in the world of crypto and of particularly what ethereum and bitcoin do if these guys do good then of course all other cryptos will do good as well especially shiba inu which is in the 15th position i think dogecoin might potentially have a good run if um bitcoin and ethereum do good now going back to what i was saying this is all the stuff that i picked up so i picked up some more apple and we're doing really good apple was hit pretty bad at one point i picked up some amd quite a bit of it actually as you can see right here so of course apple is one of the stocks that i own quite a bit of and i'm happy with that as you can see they're both doing really good now of course what will happen next week that remains to be seen i do think though that we might potentially be in an uptrend with these stocks amazon this is another one i picked up now there's a good reason for it because amazon is looking at doing fractional shares of their stocks so that tells me that they're trying to push the price of the stock up so definitely i want to have my finger in that pie because we potentially might see a nice little growth i will be buying some more amazon mcdonald's now why did i pick up mcdonald's i actually picked it up on the 10th i believe and that is when they pulled out of russia now when they did that of course that caused the stock price to drop to me that was a good drop and uh, a good buying point and i knew it was going to go up mcdonald's is one of these companies that always does do quite good in terms of its stock price so again we are up quite nicely 9.85 percent that is good of course we've got some of these right here so this is just to kind of show you financial sector i think over the next two years with inflation and everything else the financial sector will be doing quite good now i don't want to buy in a specific bank or something like that um unless i'm 100 percent. but there's not really anything that i would say that has attracted my attention so i went for this instead and so i'm happy with this it's again done quite good and of course we've got some kratos right here so these guys do make 
um, drones, particularly military drones, defensive drones, um, offensive drones, and stuff like that. Again, they're up. So, again, really good. Picked up mana, as I said I would. And so that's done quite good. I cannot wait for crypto to have its run, have its day. I think that is coming because everything else seems to be quite positive at the moment. Now, things can change quite quickly. And so hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully we have a good run. Of course, once things turn bearish, that's when I'll start buying in some more. So Netflix, again, Netflix was a company that was hit pretty badly over the last couple of months. Its stocks were down really bad. So let me just show you this. We'll go to the stats right here. Check this out. This is how bad they've been hit. Now, if we go to the one year chart again, this is the dip it's taken. We go to the three year chart, just how big that dip is. But if we go to the maximum, look at this. So, of course, this is one of these companies. And even the lowest point is still higher than the previous low point. So, I think we might be going for a run to the upside. Definitely want to be catching this train. I think it is a good train to catch. So, let's go back here. Again, this is my XRP, Ethereum. And we've picked up some military complex stocks. Why not? You know, with all this... Uh, fear around the war in Ukraine and Russian stuff like that. I think these will do quite good over the, this period that this conflict takes place. Um, I have picked up some more Tesla. As you can see, I am down now. The problem for this, and I'm showing you this right here, I bought it when, or just before, good old Elon Musk decided to sell a good percentage of his company. So I bought it at $1,200, but I picked up loads more here at this price and of course this is pushing it back up now i hope that tesla goes back to its original price i don't see why it wouldn't it's currently trading at what was trading on friday at the end of the trading day at 1007.57 cents so 1007 dollars and i think it still has room to grow so hopefully we see that next week i definitely am very keen to see what is going on now of course i did get good time to consolidate some of my stocks so crocs being one of them oracle tesla microsoft these are stocks that were hit pretty bad and so i've added more to my position because they will be going up in my opinion the other one that's done really good is nvidia so this is again stocks that i picked up on the 10th just because I genuinely thought that these uh, were at its lowest point, and I was right, right here. You can see things are doing quite good. Uh, now, the other one I wanted to show you is Shiba. I've got loads of Shiba. I've got a lot of Shiba, and I'm going to be picking up some more. Now, I bought it at 24, so that's quad 0, 24. No, 22, my bad. That's the current price. This is the... Price I bought at so quad zero twenty two. My apologies there, and uh, yeah, we are up now. If we see a nice run to the top, hopefully, I'd like to see a quad zero six two six four. That means I'm going to sell these if I think that we will be heading for a bear market. So the idea is I want to sell these and reposition them. Or rebuy it at a lower position closer to this and so that will be my aim i'm not selling them to invest in something else it's going back into shiba inu but i just want to reinvest it at a lower price if i think that that is an opportunity at any point that is what i will be doing of course i want to sell these at a profit and then obviously use whatever i get from this to buy at around this level right here which i do think we will touch at some point in the future unless something happens and we have a massively uh, bullish run. I was going to say bearish there, but we'll see what happens. This is, um, of course, dependent on what happens, you know, in terms of geopolitics, economics, how badly uh, we are hit by bad news and stuff like that. So this is kind of dependent. I'm happy with what I have, but I'm, I'm just considering the possibility of repositioning these positions right here to a buy-in at a lower price if that is a possibility yeah so overall the stocks that i bought so this is one of the stocks again that's so this is lvmh that i picked up when they 
exited Russia. So they closed their shops again. Let me show you this. I bought in quite a bit and I'm happy with that. It is doing good. If we look at the stats for this company, this is where they came out. They exited. This is why I bought in. So I bought in, I think, on the 10th right there. Yep. And so if we look at the three year chart, as you can see, it is a company that does grow quite nicely. It does also have a nice dividend right there with it. So definitely worth picking that up. And if we look at the whole time chart, you know, the whole, since it's been on the market, as you can see, it is always been in an uptrend. So definitely worth picking that up at a very low price. In terms of what stocks I'm going to be looking at over the next couple of days and weeks, so I'd say the next two, three weeks, what I want to pick up some more of is I want to get some more AMD, some more Apple, Amazon. I also want some more McDonald's. So Amazon, for the reason I told you before, with regards to what they're doing to their stocks, I think that is their way of trying to push up the stock price. So definitely want to hold on to that. McDonald's is going to be doing good. I also want to get some more Netflix because it is still quite low in the price. So I think it has a bit more room to grow. In terms of crypto, the three cryptos that I want to go really heavy on will be XRP, Ethereum, and of course, my personal favorite, Shiba. I do think it's going to have its day in the sun pretty soon now and if we look at when this was made this is made on the 27th of march this video i do think that next week uh at some point we will have a good positive run potentially the week after that if it happens in april then that is four months since the beginning of the year so that kind of puts me close to where i was guesstimating in my previous videos that things might potentially change i set the half point of this year for the time where things will probably see a bit of a bullish run so that kind of puts us where i expected it now how long this run will be i do not know I don't know if this will happen. This could just be a little flicker and then we go back into a bear market. We don't know. But it is looking like I was right with my prediction. Um, hopefully we don't have a massive over the top run over the next month. And we just have a nice, slow, steady growth and potentially a big run up towards the middle of this year. That's where I'd like to see it. Uh, we'll see what happens. The reason for that is it just gives me more time to consolidate some of my positions, to add to some of my current positions before we actually see that massive run-up. So with that said, I am definitely looking forward with excitement to the next week. I cannot wait to see what happens when the stock markets open. Now, one thing to note is that when the stock market closed on Friday, there was a bit of a sell-off. So what happened last week was it started with a massive buy-in and people were just buying, 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 buying all the way up till Friday. And then Friday, a lot of those stocks ended up being sold off. Not as much uh, as to drop it to before uh, the, uh, the price before Monday, but there was still a bit of a drop in the price. So let's call that for lack of better terms, the consolidation price. So even with the sell-off on Friday, we are still up and this is really nice to see. Now, if I go to the virtual thing, this is where I play with pretend money and uh, we go to portfolio right here. You can see that this is actually doing quite good. This is pretend money, by the way. All right. So these are stocks that I want to try out. Of course, Alibaba is one of those things I'm really cautious about because it's a Chinese stock. And yeah, I don't really trust it as much. But if we look down here, this is one of the Russian companies. It's taken a massive hit with the war. We lost pretty much just about everything. Of course, I haven't really been paying attention. This is, for me, pretend play money. But, as you can see, the end of this month was quite 
positive because this was, I think, maybe $2,000 down. We are now up $600. So, you know, all in all, not that bad. And I think this can be achieved in my actual portfolio as well. So what I like to do with this, with eToro, and I think eToro is actually a good platform to do this with, is just create an account. They do give you a $100,000 virtual equity that you can play with and invest it in different stocks and shares. And if you don't like to risk money, you don't like to invest in stocks and crypto out of the fear of losing, you can actually play around with this and get a feel for the market, which is something I do recommend. If you even think about playing with stocks or investing in stocks, let's put it this way. And of course, investing in crypto. So definitely worth picking up this app. I am happy with it. Of course, as far as stocks go, anything that I buy here on eToro, I intend to keep. With regards to crypto, this is medium term for me on this app. But what I do like the, about crypto here is you don't have to pay gas fees. So it does help with regards to trading when it comes to crypto. Crypto is, or this is a good platform to trade crypto in the sense of buying and selling at a profit you don't really trade it for others so um it's not like binance if that makes sense this is mostly focused on stocks but it does have crypto in it and like i said there aren't really gas fees to worry about so it does make life a bit more easier now of course you don't actually own the crypto itself as such but it, you know what we're doing this for money so what I own here in terms of crypto is not something that I want to own in my actual wallet. This is just me trying to create a profit on that crypto, then sell it at a profit and move that investment around uh, into other assets that I think might do good. So join me in the next video where, of course, I will be updating you on what has happened and we'll have a look at the portfolio that I have already started showing you guys. Of course, I won't be showing the actual money because I just think it's kind of rude to show that and I'd like to keep that part private, but I can show you how things are doing with actual examples of what I've invested without actually showing you the amounts. So I do, again, going back to eToro, like it for that fact. Anyways, until next time, I hope you guys have a good week and hopefully a profitable week. Until the next video, stay safe, folks.